again everybody welcome back to Lily Lulu my name's Karen if you haven't been here before and if you have been here before welcome back thank you for sticking with me over the last few videos um this is the second time I've started this video today I'm carrying on working on the ephemera that we made in the last video um if you didn't see it, I made a masterboard with all the, well, not all, but some of the leftover um, digital papers that I had printed out. And then I chopped it all up into um, different sized journal cards and tags. And then I tried to start decorating them. And this was the one I ended up decorating in the last video. I wasn't very happy with this, putting this um, peacock on, but I was really struggling to find anything that went on these tags. Now the digital papers are absolutely beautiful. I love them. Um, this, this was the simple journal that we made with the papers. And then I've made all these bits and pieces to pop in some of the pockets. And I couldn't find, I was really struggling to find something to put on each one as a focal point to decorate them. So I just did this one in the last video to get one done. And then I started this video today and um, I flicked through. I was saying I really didn't want to print out anything else. But in amongst all the papers I've got, and literally I have... This pile of papers here, which is all, um, though some of, it's the rest of those background digis that are here, and this pile, and they're all they're all digitals that I've printed out over the years that are hanging about, and I'm trying to use them up. And I went through everything, couldn't find anything I wanted. I flicked through this book trying to find flowers to stick on. I flicked through um, my Edith Holden. I flicked through, I've got this massive box of butterflies. Um, you saw in the last video, I flicked through a book of butterflies. I went through this book. Honestly, I have really struggled to find um, something to put on these tags. And I even, in my aborted video, showed you this picture, which I knew I wasn't going to use on these tags, but I just thought, that's a really cool picture. It's off of a packet of crisps. You might recognise it if you're in the UK. So I've saved that to use for something. Anyhow, I was in the middle of having a rummage and having a chat with you all, and my daughter FaceTimed me. Um, and this is my middle daughter. She is working away. She's a performer and she's got a job at a new hotel that's not opened yet um and they are in the middle of they've done all their rehearsals and everything um and i think they they've got um i think they've got guests in now but not paying guests they're sort of invited guests to test how everything's working and they've had a lot of um problems with the building, you know, because it's new. There's always teething problems, isn't there? Um, anyway, the upshot is I've not seen her for about a month and I've not spoken to her properly for probably a week because, you know, she's just working really long hours and doesn't have the time, basically. Anyway, she FaceTimed me in the middle of my last video. Then I turned the video back on when I finished speaking to her and then my nephew rang me, who's 21st it was last week, to thank me for his present and because I'd, all I'd done was faff about with books and looking through stuff I abandoned the video and then I've spent some time again going through the printables and cutting out roughly things that I think might work which I've laid out here and I've started again so that's where we are now so I'm filming this and um, sorry if I'm shaking the camera I know I'm shaking the camera I do apologize I am filming up in what is going to be my new craft room stroke office 
which is my middle daughter's bedroom. Um, and as you know, if you've been here before, I'm just working on a paste table at the moment, which is very wobbly. And I'm trying out different setups to see what's going to be working best moving forward. So today I have tried putting um, my camera holder on the table itself. And I think it's going to be too wobbly, but I'm not stopping the video and starting again. So if it is too wobbly, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to cope with it today and see how we get on. Um, I've got Max downstairs with the radio on again, but I've turned the radio down a bit. So hopefully it's still enough to keep him distracted, but not so loud that you can hear it because I I was aware um, in the last video that you could hear the beat of the music in the background. Um, so I've tried turning the radio down a little bit. So we'll see how that works. So I think for a few weeks, it's just going to be a bit of trial and error with everything um, while we try and work out what's going to work best. So I've, I just, as I say, I went through all my digitals that I have printed out and I've just sort of roughly cut out some bits and pieces that I think might work on each tag or journal card and I'm just inking them all so I've got more, more idea of what they look like. They might still need cutting down a bit more or tearing around or other things done to them but at least I've got a starting point now because I was beginning to think I was going to just have to abandon these um, ephemera pieces for now and come back to them another time and I didn't want to do that because it sort of leaves this project hanging because we've made the journal you know the actual journal together and we made the master board and all that together I feel like I do need to finish it off even when it's tricky because that's how things go sometimes this is real life so I'm just snipping off some of these threads from where I've stitched around I feel like I've been talking forever now today because I've done this video. I say this, well, it's the second time I started the video, but it's the third time I've actually started the camera because the first time I just paused the video and then carried on. And then the next time I was interrupted, I gave up. So I thought these bits and pieces looked okay on each thing. I think this one because I've got the Eiffel Tower on there and it is a little bit wonky, but I think we can get away with it. I don't think that really needs anything else. So I just cut out that Paris word there and I thought I'd stick that on the side there. Now, I'm really sorry, but I cannot tell you where all of these things have come from. Um, they're in my, I used to, whenever I bought digitals, I used to quickly print them out and put them in um you know one of those files that has all the dividers the days of the year type of thing accordion folder that's the one i used to use one of them and just put each set in there as i bought it i'd print it out straight away and put it in there so that i have a reference point because i'm better working with stuff on paper than i am on screen and this was before as i said in the last video i had any idea that i would ever be um doing YouTube videos so I didn't keep a close track of you know what came from where um, so I'm just getting out some laces and things to use um, so consequently I now have this big folder full of um, digitals which some of which I've shown you there in that file that I've been using um, and I don't know where all of them are from now, like this one that I've used to actually make the journal that we've been working on and all the background papers, I know that that is Paris in Bloom by Shabby Dabby Doodah because that was um, the digital I bought to make my daughter's 21st birthday journal. Um, and so I just remember that one because it was you know, an important journal, if you like. Um, and some other things, you know, it just sticks in my mind what they are and where they're from. But a lot of these I've had since I very first started making journals. 
and I've no clue now where they came from, where I found them, where I bought them from. Um, so I'm afraid I can't tell you. And as I said before, I do make a point if I know I'm going to be using something, um, I do try and make a point of checking where it's come from because I do like to give credit to the artists um, and obviously leave you a link if you want to go and buy the things yourself. Um, but I can't do it with these, I'm really sorry. I'm just trying to have a rummage to see if there's any, you know, little bits and pieces I can put in the background of these anywhere just to tart things up a bit. Um, I don't know why I've had so much trouble with these journal cards. Um, I've really struggled, not struggle making them, but decorating them I really have struggled with and I feel like I do have trouble decorating things quite often um, but this this is exceptional right I'm gonna let's just make myself some space here let's pull these up so I think I know what I'm gonna put on each thing now so this is gonna be the simplest one so let's get it done and at least I will feel like I've achieved something I think that might look quite nice on that piece of lace so we'll just snip that there oh that's far too long why did I snip it right down there I think that goes around that way so we can go there is that about right now I can't see which way is the right way round and as I always say, Karen, if you can't tell which way's the right way round, it probably doesn't matter. So stop faffing. So I hope everybody is well and happy. Um, I'm going to use my Kalau and I'm going to put the Kalau on my Paris and then stick my lace on there and hope it will go through enough to hold both things in place. So as I say, I'm up in my new room. I spent yesterday trying to get a bit more organized um, and brought up lots of bits and pieces from downstairs. I still haven't got everything up here by any means, um, but I do, and I haven't got everything where it's going to live. I think that's gonna be a work in progress as well. But I do feel like I'm, getting a bit more organised and I'm not going to be faffing quite so much looking for things, she says. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do feel um, like I made a bit of progress yesterday and I thought that would help me today with doing this, but um, clearly it didn't. Well, at least not at the start anyway, but we'll see how we get on. Now I think um, on these, even though I've already stitched around them, I think I want to do little rounded corners because I always think it makes things slide in and out more easily. Now the table might shake because I need to open a drawer. And of course, I don't know which drawer's got which thing in yet. This one. Because I'm working on a paste table um, and it's quite dodgy, um, I've got, I went and got my old filing cabinet out of the garage and I brought that up and I've put it underneath the table in the middle so the point where it's at its weakest is now supported by my filing cabinet. Um, so hopefully the table won't collapse. <laughs> and in my filing cabinet, I've got my glues and my glue pages, all my junk mail letters and things um, that I use to glue pages on. Really, that, that corner really doesn't want to go in. Um, and I've got my punches. Not that I have very many punches left, but oh, that's not going to work. We have to do that manually. 
Um, and what else have I got in there? Mm, doesn't look very good, does it? I've got some paints at the bottom. When I say paints, I've got about three three tubes of paint. I don't have very much of anything sort of art supply type things um, anymore. As I say, a few years ago, um, I had to get rid of quite a lot of my supplies or my, um, I've got my ink still, but um, a lot of my punches and stencils and um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Stamps. So I, this needs something else, but I can't decide what it is. I think it needs inking. Yeah, so I've got that next to me. And then behind me, I've got um, a set of plastic drawers, which is very iffy. <laughs> and in there so far, I've just put my um, stamps not postage stamps, actual, you know, inky stamps, most of which are freebies from magazines. Um, and then on there is my keyboard for my computer and my computer, then in the corner I've got a big wooden chest of drawers, not big, it's very narrow, but it's tall, chest of drawers, which is wooden, so that's sturdy. So my computer screen is up there with my mouse which is a really awkward place to have it, but it's safe and, um, you know, I can stand up and use it or this needs a bit more. Does it need a bit more glue or will it be all right flappy like that? I think it might be all right. I'm holding that out of your view, aren't I? So that's how that looks. I think that one's OK. Not sure. So I think we'll leave that one there for now. Um, right, what can we do with this one? Let's cut these threads off. And then under my desk, I've got a big um, plastic box and I've put my papers in there. So all my 12 by 12 pads, um, my tea dyed and avocado dyed papers and my packaging papers. I've popped in there. What need? What does that need underneath it? It needs something. Um, so I feel like I am gradually getting organised, but it is very gradual. But until you start sort of working with things, you can't decide really where you're going to need them. And when you're doing it on camera, it's quite annoying that I'm. No, it's already got music paper, I don't need that. Um, you know, it's probably quite annoying that I'm rummaging and stopping and starting. Although I've probably always done that, to be fair, because I was downstairs before and everything was, you know, kept in different places. Um, so anyway, we'll see how we go. Let's take another bit of this stitching page out. Let's see if we might want that behind. I'm not sure if we do or not. We cut that. Have we torn that too small now? No, I don't like that. I know what I could be using that I haven't used paper because I used that in the actual journal. Let me just I'm really sorry for knocking the camera. Let's grab some packaging paper and see how that looks. It feels a bit silly though to have all this lovely these lovely papers in the background and then cover them up with packaging. No I don't like that either. Really am not liking anything with these. Everything I put on, I just no. <laughs> right, what we got here? Got a bit of nice trim here. Well, that 
look nice anywhere. I think some, you know, something lacy or fabricy does add a lot to these pieces. Should we stick a bit of that behind? What else have we got? What else can I put my hands on without going and rummaging elsewhere? I've got a bag of fabric behind me. Well, it's not really fabric. It's, well, it is fabric, but it's, um, you know, bits of fabric that have been left over from other things. Uh, right, let me have that. I shouldn't really be using these scissors for this, but still. I can't go downstairs and get my fabric scissors. They're in my sewing tin. How would this look somewhere? With the stitching behind it. Oh, that might be quite nice. Is it too fat then? How does that look? Oh, which way am I going? That way. I think that might be quite nice. What I might do with that is if I stick that down in the middle there, then I might put it back through the machine around the edge of this. I think that might look quite nice. So I'm going to do that. We'll put, which way round do we want that? Probably that. Although I quite like that paper on there. Let's just have a check. Because it's sticking out at the top, isn't it? Oh, I've got a tickle in my throat now. Maybe that piece needs to go on something. Oh yeah, look, I'm changing my mind now. I think I like that better on there. I bet you're all shouting at me. No, no, stop changing your mind. Right, I think I'm going to put that on there. So let's stick it down. Let's not, let's not, let's not keep faffing, Karen. Let's just do it. Just do it. I've still stuck it down the way I said I didn't want it. Never mind. Never mind, let's go for it now. Let's just go for it and do it. Right, sorry I've gone off the side, haven't I? So you'll have to let me know what the sound's like um, in here because as I say, I'm in the bedroom. It's not such a warm day today, so I've man I've, luckily I've got all the windows closed. Um, but there is still traffic going past. You'll have to let me know if you can hear that and if it's uh, distracting. Right, I'm going to leave that one to dry and I'm going to take that down to the machine after I've finished. Now we're back to this one again. I always go up and down, don't I, with my trims. I never seem to just go along the bottom or anything. I wonder if I could put that there. Am I coming down too low again? I'm still trying to get used to where I've got the camera. As I say, as I've moved it, did I, did I explain in this video that the camera's attached to the table today? I know I did in the first time I tried to film. Um, yeah, I might have a bit of that on there. But I'm not even on my glue page. I've got my glue page right next to me and I'm not even on it.
so how have you all spent your weekend? Um, I've been faffing with crafting most of mine, so doing my trying to sort my craft bin out yesterday. Um, and then this morning, I've been trying to get this done. So I think that needs a tad more glue under there. bit of ink around the edges. Oops. I feel like I'm all fingers and thumbs today. And I'm going to let this one dry and then decide whether I think it needs um, extra stitching or not. I think it might just to make sure down this side that it catches. So I'll put that on with my machine pile. Right now this one, I've got this lady to go on. And what else does she need? Get rid of these threads. So how long have I been? Oh, I've been about half an hour. So if I if I do this one, um, I will probably leave it there for today because I don't want to drag you with me for too long because I am only you know, sticking things down really, playing about. Um, I wonder if some black would look nice on here. Not sure about her. Let's do this one. I thought this one looked good. I'll have to chop the sides off. But I thought that one looked nice on there, just the word on that little journal card. I haven't done another tag, have I? Never mind. I'll have to do the rest and show you what I've done next time. I don't know, I was saying earlier, or in the previous video, I still haven't decided what I'm going to be working on next. I keep seeing things I want to try. Now I think this is not going to need anything else. I think, um, oh, my battery's low. Hopefully that's not interfered with anything. I don't think this needs anything else. I think that can go on just as it is. And I don't think we need that glue for that. I think we can just go with glue stick because it's just paper. apologise if I'm wobbling you, I can feel the table wobbling, so I imagine the camera is wobbling as well. So I apologise. I'm going to have to find a better setup, aren't I? I wasn't sure, I said in the last video, I didn't know if having the camera attached to the table would reduce the wobbling or make it more obvious, because I thought if the table's wobbling and the camera's on the table, they'll wobble together. Um, whereas if the camera's somewhere sturdy and the table's wobbling, it's going to be really noticeable, but I'll have to have a look at this and see how I think it is looking. So, get those done. Now we're going to have to chop the edges off of this one. Oh yes, I can see everything's moving as I'm... Oh dear, that's not good, is it? <laughs> right. So we just trim the sides off of this. I like that on there. I didn't get the edges. So you can see these are all old, you know, prints that I've done onto the backs of when my old printer used to always print um, a test page, even randomly for no reason. You know, it always did it if you put new ink in or anything, 
but you'd be in the middle of printing something and just randomly print a test page for no reason. So um, consequently, I've got quite a lot of digis printed on the backs of those test pages, which is okay for collaging and things. Okay, does it need anything else? Put anything on the top or a bit of something maybe? They're too white without this. Just wondering where to put a little tabby bit on there. No, I don't think it needs it. Um, I feel like that. I'm going to end up. I was just going to say, it feels like it needs a button or something here, but then I'm going to be um, covering up that Paris word. So I think I will leave it as it is. I don't know why that's not sticking. So I think I will leave that there today. Um, and hopefully now that I'm a little bit more settled up in this room, um, my videos will improve. <laughs> At least I won't be rummaging quite so much looking for things. And um, once I get the camera set up, sorted, we won't be so wobbly. So let me know um, about the noise, whether you can hear anything in the background. Let me know if you have any more ideas for the rest of my tags um, if you catch me before I finish them with any ideas of what I could pop on them. Let me know. And I'm not even sure if I asked you that now because that was probably in the first attempt at videoing. <laughs> so also give me some tips for storing stuff. I've got, you've seen me rummaging, I've got envelopes full of ephemeral things everywhere. I've got this tub full of um, butterflies. Some of them are um, actually fussy cut and some of them are just rough cut. And I was going to pop all my ephemera and things like that so that they're, you know, it's easy. To, you can see what's in there. And But I am always putting off doing it because I don't know whether to put like all my tickets together and all my stickers together or whether I should put all the blue things together and all the pink things together. I, I don't know how to store things. And so I end up not doing anything with them and they're just all in the envelopes that they came in when I bought them. So if you have any tips on storage, let me know. I'd love to hear what you do. Um, other than that, I will love you and leave you. Thank you for joining me today. Hope it wasn't too wobbly and too noisy. And I will see you all again very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.